Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I want to introduce you to a, hopefully, a new series of little videos. I just got a GoPro, so I'm making movies now uh, and having all kinds of fun. Uh, my idea for this first series is to go through my book, uh, my new book, Love Letter to a Dying World. And uh, I'll start in this video with the first chapter on the eye and Kether. Um, this was filmed out on the Russian River, a uh, local river to where I live in Sonoma County, uh, one of my favorite places in the whole world. Um, and it was a very windy day. So please bear with me. The wind sometimes becomes a problem, especially during the final cut. So I hope you enjoy, and I look forward to hearing from you on what you think. Hello. I talk to you today from the beautiful Russian River in Sonoma County, California. I want to talk today about the eye. I mentioned this in my new book, Love Letter to a Dying World. In the very first chapter, it's about the eye and how fundamental that is to all existence. It is Kether, uh, it's eternal. Everything has I. Everything has I. And by I, I mean the awareness that self exists. Every, it's endemic to everything. Uh, everything is aware that it exists. This rock is aware that it exists. It possesses the I. To find the I, it's kind of difficult, kind of, um, mostly because of how we are used to thinking. We're used to thinking me, 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 but this is I. It's different than me. Me is very personal. It's very in my body, me. I is universal. It is not particular. Um, yeah, it's universal. <laughs> uh, I is in everything, everything that's alive, and everything is alive. Uh, everything is I. All these rocks, all these millions and billions of rocks here on the riverbed, every single one of them has I within it, shining out from inside the I. Not me, I. Just think about that for a while. I, I, I exist, I. But I isn't doing existing, I just simply is. But you have to find that I, it's inside. Look inside, let go of me-ness and just focus on I. Everywhere, everything I see, all the trees, all the plants, all the rocks, all the birds, everything is I. I is in everything. So focus in on the I, that amorphous, undefined uh, thing called I. Once you've discovered the eye in yourself, you begin to see it in everything else. You pick up a rock and you see eye. You look at a plant and you see eye. You see a bird in the sky. You see eye. Everywhere you look is eye. Constantly, always, the same, the exact same I. That's why Kether is supernal. It's in everything. It is everything. It's the most readily available substance in the universe. I. We all have it. Everything has I. And the more you get used to seeing the I in yourself, you do see it in everything. This hill has I. The trees, each and every one has I. 
everything is I. The I isn't just in the things that we can see. your mind out to include more than just this immediate reality, more than just this planet, more than just this solar system. Take it out further and further. Our whole galaxy is I. Every single molecule within it is I. Take it out beyond our galaxy. Through the galaxies out 